Hi, I'm Paul Price. I'm the business owner and proprietor of the Murray, Murray Bridge Brock Harcourt's office. I hope you really enjoy this next episode of Open House. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Open House and yet another very busy week, Brocky. Yes, it's getting very close to Christmas, isn't it, Mark? It is it's indeed, uh, and with the cricket, mate, and I'm sure you would have spent probably four and a half out of the five days down there. No, and no, I worked every morning, Mark. Good boy. But, uh, Paul's our business owner from Brock Harcourt's Murray Bridge. He's been there for about three years, Brocky, and another one of the gentlemen that you've moulded, my man, and uh, he's been a salesperson for five or six years now, I think. But to come in and actually run your own business in a thriving town must be a real thrill, Paul. Yeah, it's been fantastic. Yeah, the experience has been really good. Good. Um, doing a lot of networking around the area and involved with a few uh, rotary clubs and, and in um, businesses. Sporting clubs sporting and footy clubs. clubs and and so you sponsor a couple of clubs, do you, Pricey? Yeah, do, I do. Yeah, yeah. I've got sponsorship with a few organisations around Excellent. the bridge. So that certainly helps me get in there and, uh, and um, get, to, get to know the people. And Reading the papers in the past... I don't know, it must be sort of two years now. The River Murray seems to be in a little bit of trouble and the perception of some of our people watching yep. might be that the River Murray and you know, all the rest of it's not travelling too well. Yeah, look, um, I mean, obviously we've had some bad publicity about the Murray. There is some issues down there with uh, inflows into the Murray and the way that the water's being used for agricultural, uh, agriculture and, um, and cropping and all that sort of thing. It's also there being the allocation of water that's come through from Victoria and, and other states coming into South Australia. So that's all also had an effect. And obviously the low rainfalls over the last few years have had an effect as but well. It's not, certainly not gloom and doom. I mean, I was no. up there not that long ago and there no. seems to be plenty of water yeah. and the activity up there, particularly on the river, was yeah. just fantastic. So it still is our life, bro. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's the lifeblood of the Murray lands for sure and there's still plenty of water around despite the negative press that we're getting. It's got here, the volume of water making its way into the River Murray, Murray from rain and snow fields is greater than in 2006, 2007. So that's got yeah. to be good news, I would have thought. Oh, yeah. Paul, I just want to just delve into the bridge. Yep. Um, 15,000 odd people in the centre there and, and spreading out and growing. Yep. What's some of the reasons that Murray Bridge is growing so quickly? Oh, there's a number of reasons, Malt. Um, affordability is probably the biggest thing um, and uh, easy access to, uh, to the city. In the um, break, Brocky was asking you about... Yeah, what's the average price? Uh, yeah, you're price looking at around the 240 mark. Yeah, so... And where can you buy a property, yeah. residential property in South Australia these yeah. days for that sort of money? And yeah. I would imagine not only for owner-occupiers, but for investors, that they'd be getting really good returns. Oh, on they that, are, they? yeah. Look, we're consistently getting sort of your 75 to 10% returns on investment well, now, so... It's 3 to 4% <laughs> everywhere else, yeah. that, and that's yeah. gross. Yeah. Yeah. By yeah. the time you netted... I would have thought it was a terrific thing for people to actually look. Now, just in Greg's absence, president of the REI, um, how's everything tracking real estate uh, REI-wise? Oh, very well. Um, the, uh, it's been quite amazing seeing, as I said last week, I think the, the amount of strength that's still in the marketplace per se, and the auction clearance rate's still very high. Um, but uh, we're looking very positive. We're very bullish about the new year uh, as, a, as an industry and I think people can get out there with confidence and purchase property. That's been a really enjoyable show, Michael. Thank you very much for joining us. You've been watching Open House, over and out. If you've got any questions regarding the program and you'd like to make contact with me, you can call me on 0438 132865 or my email address paul.price at brockharcourts.com.au.